What's up, YouTube? It is Airborne Cyber Comic Fan coming at you with <laughs> my uh, what I did at WonderCon. Basically, uh, it uh, WonderCon was amazing. Uh, it was uh, it was sick. Uh, it was it was just crazy. Um, I had a three day pass. Here's my little uh, three day pass right here. Awesome, you know. Uh, they had these little scam bars and stuff like that, but it was <laughs> it was crazy. Uh, I'm exhausted. I hear I just uh, uh, met a lot of great people. Uh, I met up with uh, the CFG channel. Uh, he uh, awesome guy. I had a great time talking uh, with him. Uh, service in the con was kind of crazy. It, it'll go up and down, so. Uh, and then I met up with Contender, you know, we met up a bunch, uh, and, uh, just had a great time, um, and it was just crazy, uh, just, <laughs> wow, wow, oh wow, I'm, I'm looking at all this stuff that I gotta show you guys, and I'm just, like, thinking, like, I'm glad I separate these videos in two, so, also, if I forget, the pictures of people cosplaying at the con, I will put at the bottom, or not the bottom, but at the end of the video, so to show you uh, some pictures that I took. Again, be gentle, because, I mean, it's first time taking pictures at the con. It's hard taking pictures while you're holding all this other stuff, uh, but yeah. Uh, I learned a lot uh, about, you know, because this is only my, I want to say, like, you know, fourth or fifth con that I went to. So I'm I'm still learning, you know. I, I need to bring bags and boards because not all places have bags and boards for comics. Uh, so that's something that I need to do, and I need to really look at the artist alley more because there's a lot of people there, uh, like uh, Tim Bradstreet, who did a couple Marvel hip hop covers. He did the the Punisher hip hop cover that I didn't have my hip hop cover, so I didn't get him to sign it. But other than that, uh, it's it's pretty awesome. Um, uh, Contender and uh, the CFG channel will be, uh, I'll leave a link to their channel. So you can check out things that they picked up for the WonderCon. Uh, it's going to be awesome. You guys are going to enjoy it. Uh, and uh, yeah. So, okay. So I did pick up some uh, some comics from for a couple of YouTubers. I'm not going to uh, show you that or what I did for them. I'm going to let them show you on their channel. Uh, and uh, But one YouTuber I am going to talk about, Mr. Rick Mortis, his link will also be in the channel. I'm going to start with this. This is like the first day. All right, so the first day I go there, uh, a bit, uh, Rig was like, hey, you know, I told him, you know, I'll, I'll you know, have uh, Mendoza sign some books because I was going to go there anyways. So, uh, <laughs> so he had me sign some books. Now, one of the books, I'm not going to tell you the book because you need, you need to watch this video. One of the books was uh, Mendoza's first, basically, uh, published art in this comic book. I'm not going to say the name of the comic book, but he he was, like, straight. I, I mean, I put out the books that Rig wanted me to sign, and as soon as he seen this book, I mean, Dan Mendoza was straight fanboying off of this book he was like oh my god I'm like i can't believe you have this book i can't believe you have this book he's telling me the story and about how the the person who who uh who wrote this character uh is his hero and then how he you know entered the contest and everything and he was just straight fanboying off of this comic and he was so happy he took a video took a pictures with it you know and uh so he had a really, he, he was like so happy, you know, and he's telling me stories and stuff like that. So it was pretty cool. You know, the only, sorry, the only bad part is, I mean, I kind of wish Rig was here just to witness, because this is, this is like, I didn't think about this, you know, my boy thought about this, my boy found this, you know, so that was the only bad part that I felt, because it was such a great experience, I wish he was there to witness it. But, with that being said, uh, Dan Mendoza, 
snuck in a couple of books that I did not even know he snuck in. Uh, he snuck in, and this is a, a book straight, straight from his his table, and uh, I'm gonna and, and this this is Riggs Riggs Rig. This is you, man. This is the first appearance of Dollface, and it's signed right there by Dan Mendoza. Now they have like the Halloween, uh, and the Halloween Free Comic Book Day. That's not the first appearance of Dollface. This right here is the first appearance of Dollface. It is, and you can tell by it's the right there. There you go. The retail summer. 2016 exclusive, you know, so, yeah, uh, and this, he wrote this, you know, this is something he wrote, so I'm gonna leave this on here for Rig, but this, as you can see, is a hundred dollar book, a hundred dollar book, and he slipped this in, three of these, slipped three of these in, uh, in the pile, so the that was Friday. So Friday night, I was going through Rick's books to separate our books from each other. So I don't give him, you know, my books or I don't take his books. And I was looking at this and I was like, I don't remember Rig giving me the first appearance of Dolphins, you know. So I ended up texting him and said, hey, man, we need, we need to talk, <laughs> you know, because we need to talk about this. And he was like, you know, he was cool. You know, this is how cool he is. He didn't be like, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I gave you the first appearance of Dollface. No, he was like, no, I, I didn't give you that book. So I was like, oh, shit. You know, Dan Mendoza must have snuck these in because he was so happy. So I went there the next day, told Rick about this, too, that I was going to go make sure he gave me this because I don't want to steal from the guy. And he was like, yeah, man, I gave it to you. Gave it to you, so... You know, because it was so happy to see that book and everything like that. So he gave me three. I had two sign. I had two signs. So one is in CGC. That's mine. Uh, Rig, uh, this is for you, man. Coming to you with your stuff. Uh, and the other, I don't know what I'm going to do with the other. Uh, I'll probably hold on to it. Give it to someone or something like that. But yeah, so that was that book. Here's, here's the other one I have. So this is one right here with the, the I can't even see the sticker, and here's another one right here. And that's how you can tell right there, the focus, there you go, the retail. So I did also have the Kamikaze one that looks exactly the same, but it doesn't have this right here on it. But yeah, so that is one, so yeah. It, it was just crazy. It, it was crazy. That was that was like the, the the first day. That was crazy. So I'm gonna put this to the side because that's going to rig. But yeah. But he also got some other books signed. Amazing books. So make sure you check his channel out uh, when he ever posts that. I'm definitely gonna text him later uh, today to see uh, when he wants me to drop this off. All right. Now I gotta keep on moving. All right. So I also went to. Let's go. Let's go. Who is this? Uh, I told you, I got so many books. All right, so I also went to, I also got the VIP pass for for uh, Rob Liefeld because I don't want to wait in line. Uh, so I went there super quick. I mean, basically, like, not early, but just around the time where he was going to sign. Uh, it was awesome. I was the first one in line, and... He posted Instagram picture and, you know, I was in it, you know, just talking to someone, someone, uh, uh, I'll try to put a picture up here, up, up here, somewhere, somewhere, this way, up here, put a picture up here. But anyways, uh, that was cool. Uh, I want, I, the main reason why I wanted him, I wanted to go there is because I wanted him to sign my Deadpool back in black cover from Tyler Kirkham. So I also got him to sign that and Kirkham, uh, Kirk, Kirkham to sign it. Uh, so in all, I got three of those, uh, two black and white, two colored, both of them 
took them to CGC. So can't wait to see those get back. Also with the the three uh basically the the deal he signed some comic books. So this is Deadpool, I believe uh number one. Uh this is signed by Rob Liefeld. Uh, I believe I have this, and if I do, uh, I'm definitely going to uh, to give this to someone. Uh, this it, right here, uh, this is, uh, I believe, X-Men vs. Inhumans. This is a Rob Liefeld uh, cover, and he signed that right there. So, that was pretty cool. Uh, that one, I know I don't have. Uh, also... Got my second cool little badge, the same badge, you know, back, and he also have this print, uh, and I also do have this print, this same print he was giving at Kamikaze, so I will probably send that off to someone in uh, YouTube, you know, uh, because I have one already, uh, so... Yes, yes. Uh, here is the WonderCon book. Uh, Mike Cho did this art, so that's pretty cool. I really, I wish I had time to flip through this, but I really don't. I still have a pile of stuff to do. Uh, okay, then I went to go see uh, Andy Granoff. He was there, and he was doing autographs too. So no. I'm a huge hip hop fan, so what am I do? He was signing with uh, uh, Mark Brooks, and you know I don't have the cool Deadpool books that he came out with because those are going crazy. But for Andy Randolph, he did sign two things for me, comic books. Uh, he signed the Invincible Iron Man number one, the Riri Williams. He signed it right there, so that was pretty cool. That was awesome. Uh, and he signed uh, this great cover he did. Um, this is uh, Spider-Man number one, the My Miles Morales. Signed it right there. It was pretty cool. Uh, I had a picture with him. I have no idea what happened to it. If I find it, I will put it on the screen. But it's probably not going to be there because I can't find it anywhere. Uh, so, yeah, he was pretty cool. Uh, he talked about how, I mean, he actually was saying that he enjoyed doing the, the hip-hop covers. He, uh, it was something outside the normal that he does, so he was, he really enjoyed it. So that was pretty cool to talk to him about this. Uh, for Mark Brooks, uh, I am so happy that he did a hip-hop cover, and he was able to sign it. So here is Astonishing Ant-Man. Number one, right there. He signed it right there. So it's pretty cool. He was he was another great guy. Uh, he was you know they were all doing commission arts and you know when they see someone online they'll sit down and talk to you and take a picture. I did get a picture with Mark Brooks. He's an awesome guy. So definitely uh, next time uh, I meet him, hopefully I'll be able to get a commission piece done by him. Uh, now let's go. Tyler Kirkham. Alright, now, uh, Tyler Kirkham, he was signing at the KRS booth. They had, like, a lot of stuff going, you know, Venom boxes and everything. I did get an awesome commission piece from him, and I was so happy. I told him, I was like, hey, man, Blake Deadpool, do whatever you want to do to it. And he did it justice. Uh, it was so good. I was so happy with it. I was able to get a picture with it. And this guy is awesome. This just chilled guy. And he was doing a couple of commission pieces. And I, I was, that's the first place I ran to, to get online, to get my commission piece. Uh, but I told him, you know, take your time with it, do whatever. He was so laid back. Uh, and it was cool, you know. So... I also got a couple of covers signed by him. Uh, so this is, <clears throat> sorry, uh, this is uh, uh, Venom. 
I believe this is the number five. Uh, this is the Infinity Gauntlet cover swipe. And he signed uh, right there. So that was pretty cool. And this is, uh, this is Inhumans versus X-Men. Uh, right here. And he signed right there. So that's pretty, and he also, he also, like I said before, he signed the Deadpool back in black, uh, the three issues that I had, and those are off to CGC. So I really cannot wait to get those bad boys back. Uh, another artist that I, oh, for another thing I got from the KRS, they were having this con exclusive. Uh, this is a Gabriel Del Auto cover. It's a Virgin cover. And this right here is uh, X-Man Prime. So this, I mean, this this detail looks so amazing. I mean, Old Man Logan looks so sick. Cyclops. I like, I just really like how he did uh, Iceman. And made him where you can, it's like you see through him. And, you know, that's what it is. And this is Inhuman Prime. And this cover looks so sick. I mean, man, look look at Black Bolt. I mean, uh, this, my, the video doesn't do it justice. I should have put it in Mylar, but, you know, I couldn't wait. And this is, a, of course, a connecting cover. Uh, let me make sure I... Yeah, so this is a connecting cover. Let me see my camera. Is it connecting? Nope, because it's like this. Alright, so this is a connecting cover. But yeah, this is an awesome, awesome cover, man. Uh, I'm so happy to pick this up. So happy to pick this up. Uh, another cover uh, that I picked up, it was a con exclusive to... Uh, this is uh, Batman and Ninja, uh, Teenage Ninja, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Adventures, number five uh, from IDW. So this is a great cover. Uh, this is definitely going out to uh, a, a, a YouTuber. Um, definitely going to send this out to them. So that was pretty, that was pretty sick. Um, next, I picked up uh, some more hip hop covers, some more artists that was there. Oh, first, before, let me show you some, uh, let me show you the prints. All right, so this is a print I got from Andy Granoff. Uh, this one, his, uh, he threw in for free because he knew I had the cover, so that was pretty sick. Uh, that's Invincible Iron Man. Uh, this one I got for, and these are, like, really, really nice prints. These are really, really nice prints. Uh, this one I got for, uh, my brother. Cause he couldn't make it so this is uh uh i think uh uh new ways to die different ways to die uh but yeah this is a awesome cover awesome cover i mean these this cover right here uh uh comic shops were selling it for like a hundred plus for this cover because they knew andy grant off of there but uh this is a really nice print i mean it's so smooth and it's, it's real nice uh, the quality of this print is just crazy. So, and then another one I picked up was uh, this X-Man cover. And he was telling me he's a huge X-Man fan. He loves drawing X-Man. So, uh, that's pretty sick. Uh, it has like, all the X-Man up in there. So this is an awesome cover. Um, an awesome print. So that's probably going to my brother-in-law too. Uh, also picked up, you know, me, a Dragon Ball Z fan. I actually seen someone on Instagram post this. I believe it was uh, 562 Comics. He posted a video and he walked by this booth. And I was like, oh shit, I have to find that booth. And I found it. Uh, the artist wasn't there, so he wasn't able to sign it. But I mean, just the detail of everyone in here is just so crazy and um there's uh the seven dragon balls are in here 
and the way he drew it, like if you can't find it, uh, you will look at you look at where is that? You look at Bomo's radar right there, and it'll tell you where the Dragon Balls is. I like how they have the announcer from all the tournaments. Uh, that's pretty sick. And Grandpa with the Halo. But yeah, this is just an awesome art piece. Uh, that's definitely mine. Uh, he had, it was like, uh, buy two, and I was like, oh, I just want that one. And then I seen this one, and I was like, oh, shit, I gotta grab this one. I mean, this is just straight nostalgia for me. Uh, all the classic Nintendo games, uh, you got, uh, Mega Man, you got Bowser, uh, Metroid, uh, just Kirby, Mario, Pikachu, and then you flip it. And then you got, it's just like, if this was like Smash Brothers, that's what it would look like to me. I mean, it's just crazy. So definitely happy I picked this one up too. Uh, another one, uh, so it was like buy three, get one free, uh, or buy two, get one free. So I picked this one up too. Uh, this is Rick and Morty. Uh, I think I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to send this one out to, uh, somebody. Uh, but yeah. So this is an awesome print, Rick and Morty. I really need to start watching that show because I'm hearing so many good things about it. Uh, another print that I picked up that was awesome, and just I know my brother is gonna love this. Uh, this is uh, just uh, Bulbasaur just on steroids, <laughs> man. Uh, so this is a pretty dope ass dope as uh print right here so i know he's gonna love this uh they actually had the other the other three uh evolutions uh charizard and blastoids and it's like a connecting piece uh but this is the only one that you know i knew he was gonna love uh so yeah i thought i had more prints but you know what if i don't let me see where's my other prints Okay, yeah. Alright, yeah. This is my other Andy uh, Randolph one. Uh, this is Hope in the Fire. <laughs> uh, great cover. I believe someone pick, picked this actual issue up. But, uh, yeah. He signed it too. So, yeah. Okay, I was missing that one. Alright, so now let's go to uh, uh, Stanford Green. He also does hip-hop covers. And he was signing. So he actually signed. This is uh, Extraordinary X-Man right here. Uh, and this awesome cover. So he actually kind of signed it upside down. Uh, where is it at? Uh, right there. But, you know, it was cool because he was cool to talk to. Uh, he, he was he was cool to talk to. He was uh, telling me about, uh, here's another one that he did. Right there, uh, this is, he signed it right there, all new Hawkeye. So he was, he was basically telling me about how he knows, this is the EMP, EMP, EMP cover. And he was telling me how he, uh, like he's friends with them. And I guess Marvel contacted them to let him, let them know that they want to do a hip hop cover. And I guess that's what Marvel does. Like, hey, can we do a hip hop cover? Sure. You know, uh. And uh, they wanted him to do it because they liked his art. So they contacted him and be like, hey, Marvel wants to do a hip-hop cover on us. Uh, you know, can you do it for us? And he was like, yeah. And then since then, they've been talking and everything like that. So that's how he was. He basically told me the story. And uh, that, was, that was pretty awesome. You know, I was really happy uh, to hear about that story right there. Uh, another artist that I went to go see and I also picked up a print from him. Uh, this is Iron Fist and uh, uh, Power Man or, or Luke Cage. So, yeah. Uh, he signed it right there. Uh, hold on. Right there. So that was pretty sick. Uh, I love this print. You know, he also does artwork for this the, the, the current series right now. So uh, that's pretty cool. 
So yeah, he's just an awesome guy to talk to. Uh, I really had a great time just talking to him and telling him about you know his stuff and everything. Uh, so yeah, really great guy, really awesome guy. Uh, another person uh, that I met. <laughs> another person that I met. Okay, now this guy right here. Uh, let me get his stuff. This guy, this guy was a trip. Uh, he was he was cool he he was cool but for okay all right so uh Keon Grant he he just did recently did a hip hop cover uh, it was Electra number one and uh, he likes to sign on his name so he signed it like right hold on like right there. He signed it, so he likes to sign on his right name. He he was cool, but he was telling me he was like when Marvel told him to do this cover, like they told him on Friday and it needed to be done by uh, Monday. So he was like he had a rush and he was like he didn't know what to do and everything like that. So yeah, he he was he was he was he was a trip. And what tripped me out the most about him was that for this next cover is like actually one of my favorite hip hop covers. Uh, that he did, uh, he said he, in the beginning he didn't like it, but it is one of the most. He's like, but for him, it's the most known cover that he's known for, you know. But when he drew it, he didn't like the cover, so I, I was I was laughing about that. Uh, so yeah, so he signed this. Uh, this uh, he signed it right there. Uh, he likes to sign his name, so he signed it right there. And he told me his assistant was there. She was the one who modeled for this this cover. So, yeah. But he was pretty cool. But he was just telling me. I mean, at least he was honest. That he was, he did not like this cover when it came out. And he thought it was, like, you know, not good. He didn't like the way it came out. But he just heard it blew up, you know. And that was, I found that funny. You know, but on and on, you know, he was a trip. But he was a great guy. Uh, another couple of things that I did pick up at the con was I picked up, they, you know, they, they've been doing these a lot, you know, so they, uh, I picked up the foil covers and this is the, what, Batman 19, still in a poly bag. I don't want to, I don't even want to take it out. Still in a poly bag foil cover that's pretty awesome uh you have the wild storm number one a jim lee cover pot uh you know that that's cool uh and one of the reasons uh you know this is a, a david finch cover this cover is so sick i'm sorry i forgot to mention this but bane just looks like ridiculous on this cover so yeah, uh, this is a. Uh, this is a Capullo cover. Uh, this is All Star Batman number eight. Foil. Let me make sure I'm getting that in a shot. So that was pretty sick. Uh, and then of course I got. Uh, Super Sons number one, the foil cover. So that was pretty. Uh, majority of those are going to go out to the community. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, last person that I signed, this guy was incredibly awesome. Uh, uh, this is Bill Sinkovich. You know, and he was signing at the Golden Apple. Uh, booth and he did have some con exclusives. So let me show you those. Uh, this is Exo Man number one. So uh, this is the cover that he did. Then you have uh, Iron Fist number one. And he signed all these. So he signed that one right there. And he signed uh, this one right here. Uh, 
But this guy was a great guy, uh, awesome guy to talk to. Uh, you know, uh, he did a couple hip hop covers. So uh, there's one that he did do that I did not have on me because I wasn't looking closely enough to my hip hop covers. So right now I'm writing a list of all the hip hop covers and all the artists that worked on them. So next con, I will be prepared. But this is Black Panther number seven. And he signed it right there. Uh, this is uh, Nighthawk number one. And he signed it right there. Uh, he did Venom number one. Another great cover. And he signed it right there, as you can see. Uh, he did... Star Lord number one, and he signed it right there. And he did another one of my favorite covers, Scarlet Witch number one, and he signed it right there. But yeah, he was he was he was he was a great guy. He was telling me as soon as he started doing hip hop covers, artists, real artists, would come to him and want them want him to do art for his covers. You know, want him to be like, hey, can you draw something for my covers? He was telling me, like, T.I. came to him and want him to do some work for his covers. So, and then they were talking about the new uh, Nick Fury comic that was coming out. He was showing me pictures of it. So, it was, it's pretty awesome. He was really cool, you know. So, he showed me a quick, a quick look at it, you know. But an awesome guy. I'm really happy with this. And I believe that is everything that I picked up at the con. Uh, I'm sorry this video <laughs> took so long. Uh, if you want to stay and watch the cosplay uh, pictures that I took at the end of the video, uh, you can watch that. But again, I appreciate you guys watching that uh, this video. Uh, make sure you guys check out those other YouTubers. I'm going to leave a link to uh, at the bottom of this video. You guys have a great day. This is Airborne Sapper. Peace out. I need to get some rest. Thank <laughs> you.